today I'm going to show you how to create this effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first thing we need to do is just get some footage to use. Um, so if you guys are interested in in getting a free trial to a stock video service, um, I'm launching that very soon. So here's the link to use to get a free trial. Um, so we're just going to log in. Um, so I'm just going to search for, um, just, we'll just use California. And we're just going to go with this clip. And we'll just download this. So now we're in Premiere, so first I need to import my footage. And I'm just going to right click and we're going to add this to a new sequence. And now what I need to do is I need to create a duplicate of this, so I'm just going to hit Alt and then just drag this up. So now we have two of the same clip just overlaid on top of each other. So now we need to add an effect to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my effects. I'm going to search for Instagram. So all these filters are going to be included in my stock video service, so you can download them there. Um, so to add them, we're just going to click on our clip, and we can just double click on the filter, see what it looks like, control Z to go back. So we just find one that we like. Alright, so I'll go with this one. Okay, so we have our filter applied. So next thing we need to do is go to our effects. We're going to go to crop and we're just going to apply a crop filter to this clip. Let's just take a look at how adjusting these will affect our footage. So if I open up the left, you can see the filter runs this way. And if we go to our right, you can see it goes this way. So we're actually going to work with our right filter, and you'll see why in a second. So what we want to happen is we want the footage to be like this, or just our normal footage. And then we want a slider to come across and turn into that. Going to our right filter, you can see as we move across to 100, it displays the original footage. So we want to start out with the original footage. So we're going to start with the right at 100%. So now what I need to do is I need to add a keyframe. So I'm just going to hit this little icon here going to add a keyframe. So it's going to start it at 100%. So as you can see, as we play this, there's going to be no changes. So now I'm going to add a keyframe. So it's basically saying you have these two keyframes here. So between these two keyframes, it is going to be at 100% meaning this is going to only display the bottom footage. So if I want the transition to occur over like a two second time frame, so I can do, let me just hit play, one, two, we'll hit stop, and we're going to add a new keyframe. So what I can do is I can change this to zero, hit enter, and it's going to create the keyframe, just like that. So if we go back to the beginning and play this, it's going to play at 100% and then it's going to transition to zero, just like that. So now if I want to go back to the original, what I can do is I can add another keyframe. And again, this needs to start at 0%. So it's basically going from right to left. So we're doing kind of the opposite. So we're going to hit another keyframe. 
So we have two keyframes, so we got 100% here. It's going to stay 100%. Another keyframe that is 100%. And then we're going to transition to 0%. And then we're at 0% for these two. So now we need to transition back to 100%. So I'm just going to add a couple more seconds to, to this. So 1, 2. And now we're going to transition this back to 100%. And you can also see here is like a, a nice um, visual of how that's going to happen. So we'll just do a, uh, just one more. So we're going to be at 100%. And we want to transition right there. So we're going to add a keyframe. And we're going to hit play. One. Two, and then we can add a another keyframe, and we're gonna go to zero percent this time. So we're just gonna click on the one hundred, hit zero, enter, and it's gonna create the keyframe. All right, so let's play this from the beginning. So there's the transition. And then there we go again. That's an easy way to create a tr transition that just shows your original footage versus your edited footage.